All right, looks like we are ready to go. Um, so welcome everybody. I'm Megan Twentyman, the brand manager here at Soft Solutions. And with us today is Matt Carey, our senior engineer. Um, we're going to have a quick look through all the updates of web meeting that have um, come out in update 2 for version 16 um, and then at the end if there's any questions around web meeting or any questions around 3CX in general I'm happy to take those questions um, as we um, get there so I'll hand over to Matt and we will get started awesome thanks Megan welcome everyone today again somewhat in the theme of our past webinars. It's going to be nice and short and simple um, without taking too much time. Today I'd like to cover off some of the new functionality that's been released in web meeting. So for anyone unaware, web meeting with 3CX is included with the standard pro and enterprise of varying counts. It doesn't impact your simultaneous calls, but it does add additional functionality which is very, very cool. In the past, it was an on-prem service, now it is hosted, so there is no resource requirement on site, and there's been some very cool new features. So I'll just jump in there, Matt, um, just to clarify the web meeting count. So as Matt said, it doesn't impact on your simultaneous calls. In the standard edition, you have 25 participants. In the professional, 100 participants. And in the enterprise, 250 participants. And we are seeing more and more customers that are using web meeting instead of um, things like Zoom. So mm -hmm. um, it is included free of charge. If you're on an old fashioned perpetual license, if your maintenance expires, your web meeting will no longer work. So web meeting is part of your ongoing maintenance um, and really important to keep that current. Absolutely, 100%. Okay. Okay, so what's new? So just before getting into new functionality, a little while ago, 3CX introduced a few more nodes in Australia um, with a big idea around around the world to increase the reliability of the service to make it faster. Initially when web meeting was released a lot of people were seeing high latency um, which of course isn't so great especially in New Zealand we're kind of far away from everyone uh, which you know obviously impacts our shipping costs and the like. Um, so that was great to see Brand new now though as well, we've seen further performance improvements, we've got some new bug fixes and some really cool remote control stuff. So in the in lieu of using something like TeamViewer or typical support software, this is actually now coming into 3CX as well, which is rather exciting. So noticeably as well, before covering performance improvements, from a requirement point of view, so this technology utilizes WebRTC. A lot of platforms are going down that route these days uh, within HTML5 and compliant browsers within the likes of Chrome and Firefox. Obviously not Internet Explorer <laughs> because it doesn't really conform to anything and performs rather badly. So very cool to see 3CX are very solid on their technology. They wanted to put it up and see how it compared against other platforms. So, oh, apologies. There we go. So they've done testing across a three month period and these are basically the results. So everyone can read on the screen. So there was a very, very low round trip time, which is excellent considering the technology within the platform. So we want to know it's fast, we want to make sure that end users are having the best experience with this technology. What's really cool being HTML5 and WebRTC based, it doesn't require any additional plugins just for the actual web meeting capabilities, which is really, really cool. Statistics as well around the audio and video quality. So they went way up past 250 participants and it barely made a dent and there was minimal packet loss as well. So just having a look there at the stats for packet loss and audio jitter, 
Packet loss wise, below 0.1%, which is obviously fantastic, and audio jitter below 0.007%, which is absolutely astonishing considering the technology. It is so lightweight, it is really well optimized, and it is fantastic considering that it's included now for free. So system improvement wise, so obviously with version 16 of 3CX, the actual PBX itself had its system requirements reduced significantly. If anyone has attended any of our webinars before or has been out on the road listening to me jabber along <laughs> around the new improvements, uh, V16 is running on Raspberry Pi and now we're seeing that sort of additional functionality coming into web meeting where it really, really scales. So it, especially compared to other platforms out there that can be quite resource heavy, especially with it having the MCU on site and taking resource. Obviously web meetings all hosted in the cloud and works really well and it has proven to be very, very rock solid. I encourage anyone to check out the 3CX blog posts on a regular basis. They do release a lot of content as long as documentation as well, which is really, really handy. So we've got some graphs here with the testing that they did, 3CX scaled and really beat out the other competition, which was fantastic to see. So moving on to this new remote control. So this kind of struck us a little bit out of the blue. We weren't expecting it, but typically with new functionality, it's held quite close to the chest. Um, but this new remote control functionality, it steps slightly outside of the HTML5 capabilities. So there is a lightweight plugin, but again, it is very lightweight. It is a single installer on there as well. We've got bi-directional clip tool support so we can copy and paste between machines. A lot of the stuff with 3CX is starting to be very compliant. We saw recently, and we may be having a webinar on this in future with the CRM integration. Uh, being built out as well. 3CX is meeting a lot of compliant standards. So now, especially with the screen sharing with web meeting, they're using the Windows API. So we're getting the full utilization of our graphics drivers in there as well. They're also conforming to user account control within Windows as well. So we have that security within the platform, which is really cool. We have the ability to record as well, which is fantastic. File transfer abilities in there too, which just makes things a lot easier. And then with the guarantee that when the session is actually finished, those files are fully deleted. So they're not staying anywhere where you wouldn't want them. So there's a lot of security in place there as well. So again, a very short webinar, but we are very excited to see these new functionalities come into WebMeeting and the 3CX PBX as a platform really expanding out in there. We're seeing consistent updates. WebMeeting is running fantastically. For anyone who isn't using it already, I strongly encourage to give it a try. There are a lot of other platforms out there which can be quite costly. So this is just another way that we are getting value from 3CX as a total platform. Is just to add, add to that as well, um, Matt, is a key thing with the web meeting is that you're not sucking into that simultaneous call count, whereas with a conference call, you are. Um, I know, you know, people tend to head the conference call for scheduling and all those types of things, but the web meeting just adds that extra layer with the web RTC um, functionality um, to not suck up that simultaneous call count and we're seeing more and more customers adapting using the web meeting on a regular basis so um, it's definitely a consideration when talking to customers more than just about their PBX it's kind of you know how do you actually collaborate as a team and that type of scenario um, and that's where web meetings got a huge sales power um, as well as a functionality power. Absolutely, 100%, yeah. So has anybody got any questions? We're happy to answer any questions about what Matt's just covered around the web meeting. Um, as we said at the webinar on Friday, our aim is to have two, maybe three webinars a month lasting for only kind of 15 to 20 minutes at the most so that we're not taking up too much of your time. Um, 
but just to keep highlighting these new features and the opportunities that are available um, with 3CX and the fact that these are included. It's not an add-on, it's not an additional charge, these are included mm -hmm. functions and features. Yeah, absolutely. Cool, it doesn't look like we've got any questions. Okay, so if there's no questions, um, do remember you can always reach out to us via email. So the VoIP at Soft Soul, Matt and I both get a copy of that, or it's just Matt at Soft Soul or Megan at Soft Soul, um, and those will come through to us. Um, happy to answer any questions, happy to jump on a call offline and discuss the functionality if it's required. Um, thank you for taking the time to join us um, briefly today just to look at the highlights that have come out in web meeting. Um, um, if there's any particular features or functions of 3CX that you'd like to see a webinar on, please email that through um, because we're more than happy to um, arrange something that's topical for you and your set of customers because it's bound to be topical for our other 3CX partners. Um, and we appreciate you taking the time to join us today. Yes, thank you very much. We actually do have a last minute question before we sign off. So one for you, Megan. So sure. web meeting in the free version of standard what's included with that so that is the, the thing to remember with the free version of 3cx standard so for version 16 which is what we're talking about this web meeting functionality that is a free eight simultaneous call license um, that is considered a current annual subscription license so it's considered to be current so therefore it has the 25 seat web meeting included within that free license um, so where you run into problems is if you have a perpetual license where your maintenance has expired, web meeting will be offline. Whereas with a subscription, even if you had a professional subscription, so you had 100 web meeting seats, and for whatever reason you hadn't renewed your license before it expired, of course you remember it then drops to a standard eight simultaneous call. So the PBX doesn't go offline, but you do lose your queues and recording, etc. So if your phone is answered by a queue, that's it's obviously a big issue, um, but your web meeting will still work, um, dropping down to that free standard eight simultaneous call. So, um, yeah, you're, you're covered with web meeting with an annual subscription. Excellent explanation. Thank you. Okay, guys, well, that looks like that's about it. We look forward to you joining us on our next little Tech Byte webinar and have a great day. Awesome. Thanks, everybody.